welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to Homestead Heart. And uh, today we're going to be making cream of potato and broccoli soup. So y'all come on along. So just to get started, I'll go over with you the ingredients that I have. They're really simple. Starting off with three medium-sized Yukon Gold potatoes. I have two cups of broccoli, one carrot, one red onion. Now you can use yellow, white, whatever you prefer. I don't have either of those, so I'm using what I have, and I love red onion, so this is gonna be just fine for me. I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, and I'm gonna be using some smoked Gouda. See, I know a lot of y'all mouths started watering already, just when I say it's smoked Gouda cheese, right? All right, too late now, don't try to hide it. Okay, I'm also gonna be using some heavy whipping cream about two tablespoons of real butter, some cayenne pepper, kosher salt, and some Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't want to use the Creole seasoning, you can use white pepper, black pepper, whichever you, which, whichever you prefer. But these are the ingredients that I'm using today. My broccoli is um, not frozen, but like I said, in these, I'm not probably going to cut it up just a little bit smaller. Okay, not much, but just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my potatoes peeled, my carrot peeled. I'm going to chop my broccoli up a little finer. I'm going to chop my onion. I don't have any garlic or else I would be putting garlic in this as well. And I'm going to grate some Gouda cheese. It's probably going to be about a fourth of a cup of this cheese and then about a fourth um, of an ounce of the cream cheese. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get it all chopped up, peeled up, and I'll bring you back, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, get my carrots peeled. I decided, no sense in me stopping the video. May as well share the entire process. That's the whole purpose of me doing the video is to share this process. All right, move the broccoli over here. This is gonna be a delicious soup. And it's so easy to make. It's very easy to make. And for a day like what we're having here in Georgia, it is freezing cold outside. We got snow everywhere. So this is actually a great meal for a day like today. And then also during the winter time, you know, this is a great time to get a lot of your canning done too, especially if you're canning dry goods like um, beans, any kind of bean. The winter time is perfect for that because you don't have to worry about heating your house up for long periods of time, canning uh, the beans for 90 minutes or so, you don't have to worry about that. So this is a great time to can your beans. In fact, I'm gonna can about 40 jars, 40 pint sized jars of navy beans. And I may even do my navy bean stew, which is a little different from navy bean soup. It is literally a stew. And no, there is no meat inside of my navy bean stew, but oh my goodness, who would need it once you have it? Who would need it in there? It is so delicious. All right, so I'm almost done cutting these up, or peeling these up. Make it safe, and get my peels all out of the way. Wish I had a compost bin. Wish I had a compost bin. I'm gonna peel my carrot. These little utensils, oh my goodness, they come in handy. Having the right utensils makes light work of just about anything. So I love my little kitchen gadgets. I'm a kitchen gadget fanatic. Nope, Jacks, you can't have it. All right. Get this 
like that. And I think I'm just about done with my peel. Yep. So, why do I have that on? All right, so I'm just going to, I have in this pot, can y'all see that pot back there? Yeah, I have in that pot four cups of water heating up and I am going to just continue to cut my broccoli into smaller pieces. And as I do that, I'm gonna add it to the pot here. No, Jax, you can't. Four cups of regular water. You can use chicken stock if you like. I don't have any chicken stock. You can use chicken broth if you like. I don't have any chicken broth. But, we got some water. So, get those in there. And like I said, this is about two cups of broccoli. And you can really, I, if I would have had more, I probably would have done about five cups of broccoli in this soup. But I didn't have any more. And you can even use the stalks. I like the stalks too in mine. You can buy fresh broccoli. If you're not getting it right out of your garden, you can get fresh or frozen, whichever you prefer. The goal is to make this a delicious winter meal. Leave some pieces a little bit bigger. Just so I can have some variation. know what y'all think about this soup. If you all make it, try it different ways. Do it different ways. Let me know what y'all think about it. I used to make this for my little ones when they were little ones. I sure did in the winter time. Yes, it was good. And it's quick and easy too. You don't take a lot of preparing. Don't take a lot. up too small either to make those little chunks. After all, the potato is the star of the show. <laughs> how fast this is going. That's why I say this is like the easiest meal ever. You want to prepare this for your children before they get in from school, your husband before he gets in from work. This is the easiest, fastest, but one of the most delicious meals you can prepare quickly. And look, not a lot of ingredients. Almost done. Get those in there. And remember, this is varying. So if you wanted to add more potato or less, that's fine. You can do that. That's the great thing about recipes. You can alter them as you see fit. After all, everybody likes different things, different ways. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that.
And the thinner pieces of the potatoes are going to really help to thicken this broth up. Because I'm not making a roux for my soup. I know that you can, and I have done that before. There's nothing wrong with making a roux. If you want to make a roux with some butter and some flour, you can definitely do that. But I am not making a roux today. Like I said, this is quick and simple. All right, so I got my potatoes in there. I got my temperature up on high. I'm going to put a lid on that. Now I have that on a small burner on my stove. So, having it on that small burner, it's not going to really boil too quickly with that big pot. All right. Next, I am going to cut up my onion after I peel it. All right, so let me just give you a quick peek and show you what that looks like without steaming up my camera. See how that has just a light simmer on it with the potatoes, the broccoli, and the carrots in there. This is about, like I said, four cups of water. So I'm going to continue to let that do what it do. And that's just going to simmer for about 15 minutes just for the duration of what I'm about to do. And then I'll take it to the next step and show you what's next. Onions chopped. Got my skillet over there. Eating up. This is going to be so good. So good, so good. So as y'all know, well no, you probably don't know, but we are still in search of our homestead. We have downsized. We are no longer living in that big house <laughs> in the subdivision with the HOA. I'm no longer there. So, that's a blessing. So, you know, being able to downsize, save a little bit of money, I mean, it's amazing. So that affords us the opportunity to really grind and find the property that we want, need, and desire. You know, we have uh, some great ideas that we're going to be sharing with you all coming up soon so that's also uh, amazing you know we're very excited about that so just you know stay tuned to Homestead Heart for upcoming information all right I'm gonna put a little butter in there that's already sizzling because I got my pan heating up back there I'm gonna cry down a little bit Get my onion in here. And I'm going to saute those. Make sure it's still cooking away over here. That's awesome. Everything smells so good. All free. Turn that down and then that up. Alright, so next. What's next? What's next? What's next is this smoked Buddha. This off on one side. Y'all, y'all just don't understand. This is like my favorite, <laughs> favorite thing. Right, now we go. Not that I need one, I'm just really gonna put what I want in there. Hmm. Come on. Let's try this now. Come on, you can do it.
a roux with the onion, the garlic, um, the add, you know, equal parts butter and flour. So like I said, I'm not making a roux. You know, I got potatoes in here, so if I wanted to, I could add a little bit of flour to thicken this up some, but I don't want it. I'm good. I'm gonna take my onion and add my onion. Sorry y'all can't see that, but I'm adding my onion into my mixture. Into my potatoes, broccoli, carrots, and my water. Let me give that a quick stir. And I'm using the gold potatoes, so the gold potatoes, they do not take long at all to do what they gotta do. So I got that mixing around in there. Mm, mm, mm. Lay it back on there. Now, this is half a cup, just like I said. <laughs> or a little more, which is fine. And I am going to taste it again. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so now, heavy cream. To this, because this is gonna simmer for about 15, 20 more minutes. What I'm gonna do, gosh, y'all can't even see it. Okay, all right, so now, I've added the onion, and I've already given that a nice little toss. What I'm gonna do now is add in my heavy cream. And I'm using heavy cream because remember, I did not make a roux to make it thick. So I'm using heavy cream, not half and half. I know some people use half and half, but I'm using heavy cream. And here's my first cup of heavy cream. That's one. And that's two. So I got two cups. Oh, and easy. Two cups of heavy cream in the pot. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all just don't understand. Now I'm gonna add. Remember I said two tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna add my second tablespoon of butter right into there. And then I'm gonna start adding my seasons. Now I'm gonna measure this out for the sake of the video, but truly this would be to taste. So you would season this according to how much seasoning you want in it. So for me, I'm gonna start with a simple half a teaspoon of salt, because I don't want this to be too salty because I'm adding in some smoked gouda. So I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of salt. I might go back and add a little more later. Now remember I said cayenne pepper. Everybody know how I feel about cayenne pepper. So I'm gonna start off with a fourth of a teaspoon. Yep, you guessed it, cayenne pepper. All said pepper. Okay, I think that came from a cartoon I used to watch as a child. <laughs> Oh my goodness, somebody stop me. Okay, so I'm not adding my cheese as of yet, okay? I'm not adding my cheese. I'm gonna grab a spoon and just taste the mixture, see if it's salty enough. Mm. If not, I'm gonna add a little more. Ooh, but it's got that kick to it from that cayenne. I still might add some more. So I put a half a teaspoon of salt at first. I'm gonna add another half, and that's gonna give me a whole teaspoon of salt, which is what I was really thinking about anyway. And that probably is going to do it. All right, so I'm gonna turn this back up to medium high. I'm gonna bring this up to temperature, let it simmer for about 15 minutes, if that. And then after that, I'm going to add my cheese, set my timer. Actually, I'm going to start off at 10. And I'm going to cover this because I want this to 
Marry all together, marry all together. And then I'm gonna come back. Oh, y'all, how could I have forgotten? Mm, mm, mm. Shame on me. I forgot my one fourth of an ounce of cream cheese. Did y'all hear me? Okay, so I just broke that off with a knife. La 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 la. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see it. Okay, in the pot, this is going to go. Mix that around. Bring it around town. All right. <sighs> Boy, I know children. Okay. Give that a little mix. That cream cheese is just going to disappear right into all of that goodness. I'm probably going to make some farina bread with this. I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to make some farina bread with this. Let me show y'all what this looks like before I start letting it just simmer all together. All right, y'all. Do y'all see this? This is what it looks like. All of that creamy goodness in there. Mmm. -hmm. Look at that. Now that's just going to simmer. Like I said, I got 10 minutes on the clock. I'm going to come back after that 10 minutes and add in my smoked Gouda. And I'm probably going to put another 10 minutes on this. We'll see after 10 minutes. But that is already looking good. And yeah, it already was tasting good when I tasted just the juice. And I might come back and add another fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And you can make that as spicy as you want. Totally up to you. Okay? So I'll bring you back. Okay. We have been cooking 10 minutes. Turn that timer off. Give this a nice stir. Oh my, ooh, y'all. I know y'all hear me say this all the time, but I'm trying to tell you. If only, if only, if only, we could do something about it. smell a vision. We would thank the world and the persons who created it. <laughs> Ooh, y'all just don't want... Okay, so that's been 10 minutes. So now what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get my... Y'all, I got to do this with one hand, so please forgive me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my smoked Gouda. Add it in. Get all of that out of there. And I'm going to give that a toss around. And I got to tell y'all... When it comes to smoked Gouda cheese, now make sure you get a good quality smoked Gouda because all smoked Gouda is not good. I done bought that from Walmart before. And I got to tell you, I've tried a couple of different kinds from the deli area. Y'all, it just ain't the same. I'll never do it again. We have to cater um, the uh, Decap Farmer's Market here. And that's where I get mine from. And yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it is good okay so now I'm gonna give that another 10 minutes on the clock I'm gonna cover it back up give it 10 minutes I just took a picture give it 10 minutes and then I'll bring y'all back oh by the way I forgot to tell y'all once you add the cheese in make sure you come back and check on it every three minutes or so two or three minutes because you know, you want to make sure that you want your cheese to... If it's a good smoked Gouda cheese, that is a good cheese. And you want to make sure you stir it so that it melts and not just stick to the pot and all of that. So mine is just about completely melted. And because I have a really good, strong, smoked Gouda cheese with that strong, smoky flavor, that is all down into the the broth of this and it makes it taste so good so I'm gonna reduce this to medium turn that down now reduce it to medium I just tasted the carrots and the potatoes they are tender so I had 10 minutes on the clock so it's about eight minutes left so in about eight minutes I'm gonna turn the fire off and just let this baby sit 
off the fire. And look, that is going to be some delicious food. And I'm going to make some farina bread to go with this. And I'll do a separate video to show you how I make my farina bread. Um, I'm not a cornbread fan. I don't eat cornbread. I don't like cornmeal at all. You know, I don't use it on my fish when I fry it. I just can't stand it. <laughs> can't stand it. So I use farina instead. And farina to me is, you know, the best thing since sliced bread. And if you don't know how they make farina, it's really, really just a product. It's just ground wheat. That's it. But it's really good. So anyway, I'll bring y'all back. Seven minutes left on the clock. This will be ready to go any moment now. All right. So I'll see ya in just about now. Okay, okay. So we are back. Time for the unveiling. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn my fire off, turn my timer off. Ooh. Oh my Lord, have mercy. All right, y'all, let me show y'all this. So y'all don't think I'm playing with you. Mm -hmm. Look at this. You see how simple the ingredients was. I really hope y'all getting a good view. This looks so... Just look at that. That's so delicious. And you see how... Um, just using the heavy cream. Do you see how that sauce thickened? Look at that. I mean, it's just perfect. And you can add more cheese to this. In fact, I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to add this. Just a nice little handful of mildly shredded cheddar cheese. Just a handful. Look at there. I'm just going to sprinkle that in there. Actually, why not two handfuls? My hands are small. There we go. If you got Parmesan cheese, you can add Parmesan cheese. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry about that. Y'all was really close. Just stir it around. That cheese is going to melt quickly because this is seriously hot. Okay. All right. So, look at there. Cheese already melted. That looks so good. In fact, let me taste it real quick. This is hot, hot, hot. Hmm. That's good. The only thing I would say that's missing, that I can definitely tell is missing, is that one clove of garlic. If I would have had my garlic or even some garlic powder, that would have made this dish pop. But it's still good. It's still really, really good. I gotta say, it's still really good. So once I plate up my dish and show it to you, I will let you see what that looks like. But anyway, cream of potato with broccoli soup. Mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all, I'll bring y'all back shortly. All right, y'all, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my. Mm. Mm. Let me get y'all over here. Okay. So I think y'all needed a close-up on this one. Because y'all, that, ooh-wee. Look at that. Look at that. Not a lot of ingredients. A couple of cups of broccoli. Three medium-sized uh, Yukon gold potatoes, one carrot, you can add two of you like, water, heavy cream, and an onion, and then just the spices of your choosing with some cheese. All right, so let me see if I can get my plate close enough because I don't want to waste any of this. Come on, don't spill any. All righty then. All righty then. <laughs> that looks so good. 
All right, y'all. I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, like it, and subscribe to my channel. And please, please, please share, 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 share. I would love for everybody to see what I'm doing here in its simplest form. So thank you so much again for watching Homestead Heart and stay tuned for more updates. Peace and blessings to you all. Mm -hmm.